Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel where skincare is all about progression over perfection because perfection doesn't exist. Today I want to go through some of the hits and shits, the best and worst products I've tried throughout the month of June. Not just in June, but you know, I kind of made my decision by the end of June. Products that I absolutely loved and products that I feel just didn't just didn't, you know? As always, these are just my personal experience and my personal opinions. If you love products I hate or vice versa, let me know why in the description down below. You might convert me, it's happened a few times. I'm gonna start with the hits as we have more hits than shits as always and we'll finish on the shits. So first of all, I want to start off with a product from Rode. This is Hayley Bieber's skincare line. I don't know why I said that, like I didn't know I know it is her line. Um, I was on their PR, so I'm still trying out a few bits. It's still early days, so I'll have like a full brand review later down the line. However, so far so good. One product that I feel like I've only had these products for what, like five days and I, I already can tell I love this product is the Rode Peptide Lip Treatment. This is in the watermelon flavor. Watermelon Slice. If you're in the UK, hopefully you'll know what I mean by it. it's like American watermelon flavor, verging on like American grape. I absolutely love it. What I love about this product though is the consistency. It's almost like the Laneige, um, the, oh, I forgot what they're called, the squeezy Laneige ones, but just that a touch, a touch lighter, because they didn't need to be lighter, but it feels nicer on the skin. I feel like I can talk properly when this is on my lips, and it's easy to go to sleep in as well without my mouth sticking to the pillow, and to wear it comfortably throughout the day without it looking too shiny, too glossy, which is just a preference I personally have when it comes to what I put on my lips. This brand kind of fell into my PR at the right time because I've been really sick the last week, almost two weeks, and my skin needed repairing. My lips were so dry, so, so dry. They're not great yet, but this along with um, the Dr. Isho Drench is like an award-winning team for me. This is very similar actually to the Then I Met You, the Honeydew lip one, but I do just find that this sits a lot more comfortably on the lips. So they call this a restorative lip treatment for naturally plump, pillowy, soft lips, day or night. We have shea butter in here to help hydrate and moisturize. Peptides, they say to visibly plump and reduce the look of fine lines. I need to get to know what peptides are. I've heard so many like counteracting things about it from people that I, I need to kind of crack down on what they actually do. And then two things I've never heard of before. Ka ka pa kapauku? Helps maintain skin elasticity, improving suppleness and dry and dehydrated lips. And Babasu, rich natural source of lyric acid to help support the microbiome and replenish overall skin moisture. Again, I need to use these products a bit longer and take a proper deep dive into the ingredients and the formulation, all that kind of stuff. But so far, just going by the results that it's given my lips within about five days, restoring them from a dry cracked mess to a lot plumper and softer to touch and not bleeding anymore. This has been like a massive, massive help. Do I think this is better than Laneige as far as like the effectiveness of it goes or, you know, any other thicker lip treatment? Not particularly no, but I favor the formulation and the flavor I'm gonna say of this over others. I do have a slight issue with the non-scented one in the fact that when I put that on, I can kind of taste that at the back of my throat. You know, you get those ones where it, make, it makes you cough slightly. But when it comes to the flavored ones, I'm really, really enjoying these and I love this. When I first got the whole product overall, actually, I was looking at, I obviously have a separate video for this brand, but I was looking at the, the bottles and I was like, they're not actually gonna last that long. But for the tiny amount that you have to use, um, this is gonna last me a really, really long time. So yeah, very, very brief, because we will talk about these in more depth in a couple of weeks. But just the way this has improved the texture, the feeling, the condition of my lips, it's just done the job it's supposed to do. And I feel like it's good to praise a celebrity brand when they're doing something right, you know? Let's move on to another lip product. This is the Fenty Skin Cherry Treat Conditioning Strengthening Lip Oil. I thought I wasn't gonna be on Fenty's PR list after. <laughs> insulting their cookies and clean. But this was sent to me in PR again, and I've been using it non-stop prior to getting this one. I'm kind of interchanging these. I actually use this one during the day and this one um, in the evening, again, to kind of like restore my lips back from a cracked mess. So when you hear oil, don't think oil because it's not an oil. I've used lip oils before that have been very kind of like slippy, um, very like, you know, your lips stick together. This is not like that at all. These are pretty much the same texture, just with different delivery systems. So this contains sweet cherry seed oil, which they say moisturizes, infuses lips with essential fatty acids, Barbados cherry plus wild cherry extracts, condition and renew, as well as jojoba seed and rosehip fruit oils to lock in 
moisture and soothe dry lips. One thing I do like about this, I'm gonna use it now, is the applicator, first of all, is such a really like nice flat size. And it does look like shine, like really shiny on camera, bearing in mind I've got four lights on at the moment. But it kind of settles, I was gonna say dry down, it doesn't dry down, like settles on the lips really, really nicely, like a normal lip balm almost. And there's that subtleness of cherry. It is synthetic, it does taste like synthetic cherry, but it doesn't last forever. It's, it's just kind of like on the initial application. But what I like about this is it's lasting on the lips, but it doesn't just stick around. It's not that occlusive top layer that a lot of lip oils are. Whilst it does kind of have those properties, it does settle into the skin skin, again, nourishing and hydrating, while still having that really nice, light and gentle top protective layer. So yeah, as I mentioned, whilst we do have that kind of like synthetic cherry flavor in here, which I'm not mad about, especially when it comes to a lip balm, we do have a, the sweet cherry seed oil to help moisturize those lips and nourish, as well as providing those essential fatty acids. It's really like restorative and repairing. And then the Barbados cherry and wild uh, cherry extracts, again, just kind of like an antioxidant and conditioning take, as well as the oils kind of help to lock in the moisture. It's just such an easy product to apply and use. Again, it's nice to have kind of like a lip conditioning treatment that I can use in the morning without having sticky, shiny lips throughout the day. But again, the way this works has just been amazing. It's been really, really good at kind of like supplying that space for my lips to kind of reheal and feel and look good as well. So my next hit, <laughs> so this is um, a brand called Tambourins. This is the hand cream, uh, their shell like series, and this is Vein. Centella Asiatica Extract Wrinkle Care. I cannot find anything about this online. I bought this because I watched Jenny from Blackpink's um, kind of like, not skincare routine, but like um, beauty essential kind of video. And she had a tambourine's hand cream and a few other bits that I got as well. And I just love this hand cream. So first of all, it's like this. This is like, um, is this the mini one? Yeah, this is the mini version, kind of like the um, bag size one. So you just squeeze the top and squeeze that into your hand. You know how to use hand cream. But what I love about this is you can actually pick up your phone and use it after. I know a lot of hand creams, Mm. A lot of hand creams that I have that even say that they rub in really quickly, they're non-greasy, they're fast, like drying, all that kind of stuff. They're not. And from what I see, this brand doesn't even kind of like advertise that as a benefit of their hand cream. But again, I don't know about you, but after the pandemic, I'm still sanitizing. I'm still trying to like moisturize my hands as much as possible. I'm still washing my hands, you know, as much as we were during like peak COVID. I feel like it's just kind of become a habit. But what I love about this, as I mentioned, it's non-greasy. It's almost like a slightly thicker gel cream. So it rubs into your hands really easily. But the perfume that comes off this, it's not just like rosy hand cream, you know, like, you know, something you'd find in the body shop or like, you know, L'Occitane or something, whatever it's called, or places like that. This has like a proper kind of like mm -hmm, perfume smell, like expensive fragrance smell, which I know a lot of people don't necessarily like, but this, I have to be honest, it stays on for as long as this hand cream is on your hand. So if that's something you like and you don't mind, you would absolutely love this hand cream. In a way, it feels like a fragrance product alongside being a hand cream because I do feel like the smell of this product is such a big selling point of what they do. But as I said, I had to go onto a Korean website. I couldn't find any details about this. I couldn't find ingredients. I couldn't find anything. Centella in a hand cream is not something that I often see advertised, I guess, because it's great for your face, it's restorative, it's repairing, it's soothing, it's healing. So it's not really something that I like, I don't know, I don't really think about as my, on my hands, I guess it's an antioxidant, but other than that, I find Centella like an odd one to glorify in like a hand cream. Let me know if you know why down below if I'm missing something. But I also just like the pop off top, the, the push and then pop back on and into your bag. The worst thing about using a hand cream that doesn't rub in properly and is greasy is putting the lid back on. Do you know what I mean? Like when your hands, it's in your hand here and you're twisting it and you're trying to like put the lid back on, you're all greasy and slippy. But this is so good just to hold like that, do that, pop back on and then rub the hand cream in. It's just ease of use. I find that something that I'm really like looking for recently in products is how easy is it to use? How much has a brand thought about how me as a user of that product is gonna functionally use that? You know, the huge kind of like doe foot, is it doe foot? applicator with the Fenty lip um, oil, I think is incredible. Swipe, swipe. The click on, click off lid of the Tambourine's hand cream, so easy to use. But again, it's just like a really nicely, heavily fragrant 
but a nice fragrance that you want lingering around hand cream that lasts forever without looking greasy. Like, you know, non-shiny, my hands almost look matte. This is probably like the only time I'm gonna have to use this hand cream until I wash my hands again. I find a lot of them, your hands get very, very dry very quickly, especially in the crevices where you're usually a lot drier, like between the knuckles. But this just kind of film, forms like a nice film, but I can still touch things with my hands, you know? Really good review. Next up, a product that I know I was gonna love. This is um, Solterre. This is their um, skincare deodorant. I love their body wash. I love their body wash. It, they're like the forever mood of candles for me. These are smells I've not smelt before. These are very distinctive, kind of like core memory unlocked smells of, you know, they, they, they're they so distinct that they transform you into places where you've never been before. Memories that I say that you've, you've not had before, but you know, you know what the story is behind that smell. Do you know what I mean? But you don't have to describe them because they're not smells you've smelt before. Black Tide is definitely one of my favorite. It's kind of like a mix. <laughs> Stiff my armpit. It's kind of like a mix of your traditional manly musky smell with like marine kind of smells to it. But you know when something's like marine it just smells like dabbed off cool water? That's not what this smell is. But they made deodorants of their body washes and I absolutely love these. I actually, um have very sensitive armpits. So there's a lots of lots of kind of deodorants I avoid, a lot of general antiperspirants I avoid. So I do a mix of like pit rock spray to kind of stop the smell. And then like a roll on deodorant like this. And it's so gentle on the armpits whilst keeping me dry as well. What I love about this one is they have got like um, skincare in mind. So we've got BHA in here, zinc riconolate, nourishing oils and algae to help neutralize odor. Of course, some fragrance as well. And it's good, it's really good. Whilst not 100% sweat proof, I don't sweat too often, but we've had some of the hottest days in our like year so far this week, including today, it's gonna get really hot. Um, but I won't sweat with this, I'll be absolutely fine. I sweat like a little bit, but you know, we don't often have days like that. So this will potentially keep me sweat free throughout the rest of the year. These are refills as well, proper good refills. <laughs> so you keep this harder outer case and then you kind of like refill the smaller bit of plastic inside. But yeah, I believe they've used like um, the BHA to kind of help like neutralize the armpits because I don't know whether it's just AHA that does it, but I do use exfoliating toners under my armpits and they are one of the best things to stop the smell. I haven't seen any brightening effects from this. I have got darker armpits maybe from the constant use of like certain deodorants. So it'll be interesting to see if they get any brighter. D brighter armpits aren't really something I'm interested in though, to be honest, not everyone's seen my armpits. But as far as a good roll on deodorant with a nice scent to it, that isn't just Mitchum or like, um, you know, who else does it? you know, <laughs> a dove, you know, kind of roll on deodorant. These are really, really nice. Okay, let's move on to my shits. I've only got two. They're both like a little bit like, oh, okay. Um, let's start off with this one. This is the Beauty Pie Super Healthy Skin. Packaging's a little bit grimy because I've been trying to love this for the best part of nine months now. They say that this is their gentle foamy facial wash for squeaky clean skin that doesn't feel stripped. It says, you love your balm, your milk, your amazing hydrophilic oil face cleansers, but once in a while you can't resist a good bubble up. The super gentle purifying amino acid force wash Face wash, what's wrong with me? It's infused with natural vitamin C and smoothing pyrus apple. And antioxidant raspberry leaves the skin feeling fresh and fabulous. And there was a time when I loved this, but here's the thing. This just foams up too much. Too, too much. And I've tried, everyone's gonna be like, you're using too much. I've tried using the tiniest amount. It's suffocating how much this foams up. I have breathed in so many bubbles using this. And it's kind of like a petty thing, but user experience is obviously so important. I don't wanna be suffocating and choking on my cleanser when I use it. This has some really nice ingredients in that I, I usually love. The Pyrus Malice Apple Fruit Extract, the Raspberry Fruit Extract as well. Um, you know, your antioxidant, your brightening, your moisturizing, your soothing, all the stuff like that. I, I usually love in a cleanser, but this is just, it's horrible to use. It's horrible to use every time. And I always come away using it with like a little bit of like choked up soap in the back of my throat. It's just not nice to use. This is 40 pounds on Beauty Pie. How Beauty Pie works is kind of complicated, but this is 40 pounds. If you sign up and you start your trial, this is the equivalent of 10 pounds for a huge face, a huge bottle. But I just don't think you're ever gonna get through it. I think we've got what, like a 12 month, 12 month, month usage date on it. I just don't think you're gonna get through it because you need the tiniest amount and it just foams up <laughs> so much. Maybe there's like three or four of you sharing a bathroom or whatever. This might be absolutely fine, but 
It's just a mouthful of face wash. I, I don't need it. The next one is actually a release launch that I was really looking forward to, and that's from Perito. This is their Dermide Relief Barrier Moisturizer. Ceramides Soothing Hydration. And to be honest, all their kind of like Dermide moisturizers and creams I love a good ceramide cream and I love it when a brand comes out with their own tape because I always feel like they can be improved on and I feel like ceramide creams have gone from very clinical almost plasticky smelling thick creams to some really nice like luxurious kind of like gel creams watery creams really lightweight products that anyone can use not just people who desperately need like you know heavily moisturized skin so I was looking forward to what Perito had to offer and I do feel like with their launches they've kind of tried to release like a heavier cream to a lighter cream however for me and my oily skin they're all just that little bit too heavy and suffocating on the skin. So this is, I guess, like their take on the very popular CeraVe. Ceramides help strengthen the skin barrier, restore your skin barrier, keep it functioning properly. A great type of cream that I would recommend everyone really, really has within their skincare arsenal. But for me, this is one of those creams that you rub in the skin and it's just white everywhere. And you keep rubbing it in and it's white. For some reason, you're getting a cold sweat on your top lip and you're pushing it around. It's caught in your facial hair, it's caught in your eyebrows. And then, once you're done, it's just kind of like matte on your skin and kind of like, oh, why was that so thick? And why did that take so long? And again, the user experience of this isn't very nice. And that's throughout all the different kinds of dermide creams. It's honestly everything I dislike about a ceramide cream. It feels clinical, it's thick. It makes you feel like there's something wrong with you when you're using it. Cause the products feel like prescription only products that you kind of just have to deal with to sort out your skin. Do you know what I mean? Like it, it, it kind of reminds me of like having to use all the old acne products I used to have to use as a teenager that weren't very nice to use but they did the job and I'm kind of disappointed because I really thought that they, they'd get the formulation down of it. We got Squalane in here as well um you know, for some moisturizing, some barrier repair, um, Alan Toen as well. It's just, it's just for me, it, they were all a miss, unfortunately. And I did use these when my skin were probably at its, um, not worse, when my barrier did need some repairing. Um, I just went straight back to my Ostura cream, to be honest with you, because for me, that's a, a fail safe cream to use and will do its job and help restore my barrier. So that's a launch I was looking forward to. Unfortunately, kind of fell very flat for me. Again, user experience wise, it just wasn't pleasurable in any anyway, unfortunately. But anyway, let me know if you hate or love any of these products in the description down below. Let me know what more the hits you'd like to see a little bit more in depth with. As I said, I'll be talking about Rode and a completely different separate thing. I've just ordered Skin by Kim Kardashian. So I'll be taking a couple months to kind of like try and review those both fairly. So leave any uh, product recommendations as well in the description, in the description, in the comments down below. You can watch some more videos here, some reviews and some general light entertainment here. And I'll see you over there.